Welcome, this is the tail wagon, the perfect way to include your furry family members in your outdoor adventures. The tail wagon comes ready to bike and has a weight capacity of 75 pounds. It can also be used with the optional stroller kits. And the kickstand is a great accessory that's compatible with the one wheel stroller kit. The parking brake is located in the rear of the trailer. The tail wagon also comes included with a handlebar. It can be easily removed by pushing the two metal buttons on the side. There are reflectors on the front and rear of the trailer, and the flag holder is located on either side of the trailer down next to the handlebar. The buckles on the sides of the trailer hold the entry flap and front cover closed. The tail wagon also features quick release wheels. The tail wagon's vinyl windows can be zipped down to keep out the elements. Then they can be rolled up and secured using the Velcro loops. The front cover can be rolled up and secured using the Velcro loops. Moving to the interior, the tail wagon is 23 inches tall by 19 inches wide. There is a removable washable floor, inner loops for hooking up the leash, and cargo pockets for storing leashes and other pet gear. To keep your furry friends secure, first latch the cover, then the lower flap. For easy storage, simply pull the red tabs and lay flat. For people looking to take their pet with them on their next adventure, the tail wagon is the best option. Welcome, this is the Nomad, Burley's touring cargo trailer. The Nomad comes ready to bike with a carrying capacity of 100 pounds. It features a weatherproof cover that latches in both the front and back. There is an inner flap that keeps cargo separated. The pockets lining the interior keep smaller items more organized. For easy storage, simply pull these red tabs and lay flat. It also comes with easy to use push button wheels. The Nomad is extremely light, weighing only 15 pounds. The flag holder and reflectors help make the Nomad more visible. Up front is the hard plastic nose guard. The Nomad is also compatible with the ski kit as well as the cargo rack. For people looking for a lightweight, heavy duty cargo trailer, the Nomad is the best option. Bring your best friend along for the ride with the Schwinn Rascal Pet Trailer. Designed to hold one pet weighing up to 50 pounds, this bicycle trailer features a durable steel frame, 16-inch aluminum wheels, and a washable non-slip liner. Setting up the trailer is quick and easy. The coupler attaches easily to almost any bicycle, and the tires can be inflated with a standard bike pump. The rear door allows for easy entrance and exit, while the adjustable bug screen, weather shield, and ventilation keep your pet comfortable during the ride. An adjustable internal leash prevents your furry friend from jumping out of the trailer, and the included safety flag provides added visibility on the road. When the ride's over, the trailer's unique folding frame and quick-release wheels make it easy to store and transport. So the first thing you want to do is uh, take the axle out, and you can leave your tire in there and then there's like the little washer and then the hub that you're actually going to put the pipe in so you run those through some some back end axles have like a little place to put it like a, a, a little triangle to put a little tab for the washer mine doesn't so I just put it on the bottom and then I put the uh, holder on the other end I screw it on and in this case I tightened it and retightened it a hundred times just to make sure I wanted to make sure it was super tight so again 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 and it's tight enough okay so that thing's on there all right so the next part is the uh, actually 
putting on attaching the trailer. So for me, the hardest part was kind of shoving it in. You have to bend it. There's like a spring on this thing. So you shove it in there and then make sure that you line up the holes and put the pin through. And then the instructions also say you're supposed to put this like uh, uh, latch on. So there's this cloth latch and you're supposed to put that around the bike uh, frame. So I did that and then you put it in the uh, little metal piece there. So that should be sturdy. So that's that. So re-watching the video, I saw some good sharing going on. Look on the right hand side of the screen. Yep. My one year old, who had a hold of a Phillips screwdriver, was trying to get out, she's the one making the noise. And my son who's four pulled her back with a screwdriver. Sharing. Okay, so this is how you strap your kids in. Um, what we did, these are a lot like regular car seat five point harnesses. So two straps over the shoulders, two straps on the sides. Um, if you're gonna put two kids in, if, if there's one kid, I think you use the two middle ones and then there's an extra strap in the middle that you can see below my son. But uh, you just put them in, you can tighten, you have to kind of loosen and tighten the things on the side. The chest ones are a lot easier. You just pull them down, that tightens them up. Pull them down, that tightens them up. And then uh, tighten those on the side. But that's how they should look. And then we'll put helmets on them. We'll be good to go.